9.3 number 7, we're going to uh, match the graphs with the equations. And you could guess and, and probably do just fine by guessing, but let's, let's take an approach that we'll get it done the first time through. So when I see this first one, I see that y is squared. It's first. It's positive. So that tells me that we're talking about one of these two graphs. And so when I do this, I would say, oh, well, I'm going to go up and down 5. So if I go up and down 5, I would hit that one. So this first one is C. Then when I look at the next one, again, Y is first. So when Y is positive, it's going to go up and down. And you'll also notice that because the denominator is 9, I would go up and down 3. Because in both cases, the center is at 0, 0. So it's easy to find. Go up 3, down 3. Go up 5, down 5. So I have those two done. Now, in the next two, we're talking about x is being squared first. So that means it's positive. So that's why these two go side to side. And if I look at the first one, it's got a 1, 0 for its center. So that means I'm going to go to the right 1, up and down 0. And then you could go one more step and go 4 to the right and 4 to the left. So that's that one and then the last one one two if I go uh, excuse me if I do negative one two so I go to the left one up two from my center now you can see why the last one graph a matches so you can use the centers and what's first and then the denominators to help you find these